Hey everyone, this is Trudy from Virtual Tarot. <laughs> Here in the Tarot Wonderland. I'm gonna bury these sticks real quick. <laughs> I am here to do your mid-month reading. This is something that we're going to start. Ava will be doing the headliner readings and the council cards, and Trudy will be doing the mid-month readings. And I realize that some of you are a little confused as to what is going on here at Virtual Tarot. Ava and I live now in different cities and it's been a little tough to get together um i have had some issues with my health and so it is easier um to read from our distinct locations and also it's time i think for both of us to branch out this will be interesting for you guys to see this reading which will be my first reading on camera reading solo so i'm excited about that and i um, think it will go well also i wanted to mention that i'm starting a channel called my virtual tarot which will highlight you <laughs> so i'm asking the fans to send in video if you could send in a video to myvirtualtarot.com. I'd like to choose three or four fans to highlight this coming month on my new channel. So you will have a playlist not unlike Ava and I, and there will be links to your videos from our channel. And you can start your business. So please send those videos in and that again, that is myvirtualtro.com. And I am shuffling the cards right now for Libra. We will begin the Libra reading first. And the first card that comes up for you is the Four of Pentacles Reversed. Very interesting card, Four of Pentacles Reversed speaks to a lot of things. You will see that this is a gentleman, and I'm gonna hold the card up here so you can see it. We have a gentleman here who's sitting on a chest. He has four pentacles at his disposal, and he's a bit upside down. So really all this card points to is that middle of the month you may be feeling a little bit um, unstable financially or you may have to spend more money than you had anticipated sometimes this card will also speak to a move it can speak to the necessity to upright home and hearth what is practical for you I'm hearing from spirit that some of our Libras may actually need to unburden themselves of some things that had made them feel financially secure previously and that some of these things may actually not be serving you any longer. I'm also hearing that you may not feel comfortable right now in terms of even having a comfortable place to sit or lay your head. You may have some issues with that but you will find that quickly enough and that is why relocation or even within business having to rethink your business comes to mind Libra's having a bit of a an emotional moment perhaps um, there may be some feeling of jealousy um, maybe you're feeling concerned over a spouse or a mate or a lover um, let that go give up the idea of ownership this month because this card points to stability through letting go of the past. The next card to come up for you in the position of challenge is the star. This is major arcana stuff mid-month. And so you may feel a little bit dimmed this month. Mid-month leaves you feeling a little bit misaligned perhaps, but it is a major arcana card. 
Your challenge is to find inspiration once again. And with that Four of Pentacles, I want to say that you are a major player, okay? Have been in the past, will be in the future. Just experiencing a little bit of A little bit of unsteadiness, perhaps financially, that do not let that get in your way because you, well, you're Libra, first of all, but you are meant to be the hero. People follow you, you are the leader, you are the star. You're feeling a little bit challenged with who you are and maybe questioning that a little bit this month, but that is who you are. This is spirit giving you uh, at a boy, at a girl. You are the star, so own it, okay? And don't worry, this four of pentacles is a minor transition. The next card coming up for you is the queen of wands and she is reversed. And so the queen of wands represents a fire sign. And when we see this card, we always say, oh boy, she's the only queen in the deck with her legs spread, which is kind of interesting in that in the reverse, we often say this can represent cheating. Uh, this queen could be cheating. You could be cheating. <laughs> Although you are a Libra, there is temptation. Um, once again, she's a fire sign, she's an Aries, she's a Sagittarius, she's a Leo, she's the Dew Queen. She's the queen who goes out and doesn't ask for permission. She just does. In the reverse, she may be overly impulsive. And if this is you, you may feel the urge based on that Four of Pentacles to go out and create a little havoc this month. Um, the Queen of Wands unexpectedly can feel a little bit jittery, a little bit bipolar even, um, when we're all bipolar. Uh, if you think about it, um, we have mood swings up and down and we're in, we're out, we're up, we're down. I'm hearing that Spirit wants you to not question who you are. You are the center of your universe and people look to you um, and they build their universes around you your star will rise once again your star is rising right now but this month mid-month it's not feeling maybe um, as uh, you're, you're not feeling your position as strongly and so this seems to be a bit of a reaction to this star in the position of challenge but do not be challenged by that know that that is who you are it is in the upright and this is a promise that you will I'm going to say at the end of the month, begin to recover from this sense of just feeling unhinged, ungrounded, um, and then acting perhaps a little bit um, irrationally um, toward the end of the month, uh, maybe making a few decisions that are based upon um, just pff, impulsiveness, okay? And I'm going to venture to say that some of our Libras may actually have someone in their midst who is cheating. And I'm going to go with that because this is the card, this female who is inverted. She often is the queen who is outside of the relationship looking for excitement. This could be you outside of a relationship looking for excitement just beware it may for some of our libras this will be true this will not resonate with all of our libras so look at your your rising sign and your moon sign but i will say that i do believe some libras will have a situation where their partner may be flirting going out doing things that make them question the relationship and um there's a certain sense of possessive 
possessiveness that opens the month with this four of pentacles and four of pentacles can be a card of jealousy so there may be a reason for it just saying <laughs> last card to come up for you libra oh my gosh and you end on a happy month and we have a love reading here oh boy i love this okay so we do end the month on a positive note we have the two of cups and once again i'm going to say for some of our Libras, we may experience some volatility within relationship this year, or this year, I'm sorry, this mid-month. Mid-month may find you questioning your relationship, but we end on a positive note. We once again, this partnership is meant to be. It's an equal partnership, two people meeting on the same playing field, um, in agreement, able to work things out, able to come together and to inspire others and i say that because in the challenge position you you have the star so your your spouse your partner your love interest is also a star because you guys are on an equal playing field here this is a beautiful beautiful card now if you are starting a new business this is also a great card this card says that you'll be able to partner with someone in a very successful way and that the partnership will come from the heart. So do not question whether or not the person that you're getting ready to get, I'm going to say into bed with, <laughs> because that's very much how it feels. You're getting into bed with someone. And I feel that that is even I want to say that I feel like this is a deeper, stronger commitment to either a relationship that you've had in the past or to relationship in general. It feels as if you are ready to really commit. And you may mid-month experience a reason to stray a little bit, um, to play a little bit. To go out and do your own thing a little bit or you may experience and I'm really hearing this from spirit I'm saying you may experience your partner doing some of that because there is this sense of there is this sense of me 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 in the beginning of the month um, possessiveness ownership um, so that you may experience a bit of that but at the end we have this beautiful outcome and that outcome would be really committing to one another and working things out and it's beautiful so don't worry all is well for libra and if this doesn't resonate with you check your rising and your moon go to astrodance.com because there you can find out exactly who you are get the owner's manual and do it for your friends and your family and your frenemies and everyone and again this is Trudy's very first YouTube video solo so if I'm a little creepy or if I'm a little oh no wonky or um, having a issue trying to set up the camera <laughs> you understand why I want to send a shout out to a couple of people that I've done readings for this week that would be Minar Diana Rosanna you guys are great thank you very much um, also don't forget to go to myvirtualtarot.com I'm going to start a channel where I can post fan videos and playlists and so if you would like to read the tarot the same way that Ava and I do every month I will teach you how to do that um, if you are chosen to be one of the my virtual tarot readers that said i also want to promote ava's alkaline kitchen please go there to ava's health and fitness channel you will find the links below ava's doing some fabulous cooking and recipes in the kitchen and this is where she's growing and going um last but not least please check out the website we have a new astrologer coming on Brian Hill his astrology report is posted and um, he's pretty fabulous 
So check him out as well. And I think that's it. If you would like a personal reading, please go to avatrudyvirtualtarot.com, purchase a reading. We now do Skype readings as well, so many new things. Um, and then we also have Parker Lily, who will be reading via Skype. So you can choose an audio reading or a Skype reading. Ava will be headlining here soon. Um, she will also provide a council card for you. And that seems to be it for the announcements. I thank you very much for tuning in to Trudy's Mid-Month Reading and Ava Trudy at Virtual Tarot. Thanks you. Namaste.